The Little Red Hen Illustrated and written by Jerry Pickney The Little Red Hen greeted the sun with a cheery, Good morning! It was going to be another busy day. While hunting for worms and berries for her young ones, she came upon some strange seeds. Ever so carefully, she scooped them up, then headed home. On the way, she greeted her neighbors, the short brown dog, the thin gray rat, the tall black goat, and the round pink pig. I found these seeds, she said. Can any of you tell me what they are? They're wheat seeds, said one of the animals. If you plant them, they'll grow into wheat for baking bread. Who will help me plant these seeds? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the rat. Not I, said the goat. Not I said the pig. Surely you will, the little red hen said to the dog. You're so fond of digging. Hmm. Not I, said the dog. Very well then, said the little red hen. I will plant them myself. She dug holes in the ground and dropped the seeds in. A very busy hen was she. Every day, the little red hen scratched for food to feed her young ones. She also found time to care for the seedlings. She and her chicks watched as the wheat grew strong and ripe. It is now time for harvesting, said the little red hen. Who will help me cut and thresh the wheat? asked she. Not I, said the goat. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Well, surely you will, the little red hen said to the rat. You can use your tail to chop it easily. Not I, said the rat. Very well then, I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. After snipping the stalks with her beak, she separated the grain with her claws. A very busy hen was she. Who will help me take the grain to the mill? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the rat. Surely you will, the little red hen said to the goat. You are strong and steady. And it's a lovely day to take out your cart. Not I, said the goat. Very well then, said the little red hen. I will do it myself. So she fetched her shawl, then trudged off to the mill. Mr. Miller ground her grain into flour and even gave her a jar of berry jam. The little red hen thanked him and began her long trek home. Who will help me bake the bread? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the rat. Not I, said the goat. Surely you will, the little red hen said to the pig. It won't take much effort at all, and you're always delighted with my cooking. Not I, said the pig. Very well then, said the little red hen. I will do it myself. She mixed the flour with yeast and salt and water and then kneaded the dough, shaped it into a loaf, and put it into the oven. At last, the bread was done. As the little red hen took the hot loaf out of the oven, a tasty aroma circled the barnyard. I know who will eat the golden bread, said the little red hen. I surely will, said the short brown dog. I surely will, 
said the thin gray rat. I surely will, said the tall black goat. I surely will, said the round pink pig. Oh, no, you won't, said the little red hen. You did not help me plant the seeds, nor thresh the wheat, nor take the grain to the miller, nor bake the bread. My chicks and I will eat it, clucked the little red hen. She set the table for herself and her family, cut the warm, soft bread, then spread sweet berry jam on each slice. Oh, joy of joys. The end.